Hi, everybody. Thank you for watching. My name is Ben Consoli. I do a lot of talking head interviews throughout the year. I'm sure you do too. And what I love about Final Cut Pro 10 is because it's based on metadata, you have incredible searching and organization capabilities for the interview. So let me show you how I use Final Cut Pro 10 on talking head interviews. So here we are in the Final Cut Pro 10 interface. I've got two clips here, and I'm gonna show you how I use the favorites command to essentially transcribe what's within a clip. Favorites are Final Cut Pro 10's uh, answer to subclipping, which is what Final Cut Pro 7 used to call it. But it's basically just a way to section off pieces of a clip and create your own little subclips within it. And they're very powerful for searching because you can make a favorite, entitle it, and then search for it later on. I've already made some favorites here in the beginning, but to show you how to do it, let me just finish this interview here. Make my endpoint. Because it's based on metadata, out point, press F to make a favorite, and then you can title it. And I'll continue down the path here. You have incredible searching and organization capabilities. For the interview. So let me show you how I use Final So let me show you how I use Final Cut Pro 10 on talking head interviews. Okay, great. So now we have two fully marked and logged clips using the favorite command. But where Final Cut Pro 10 is the most powerful is in its searching capabilities. Let's say you want to find every instance where the interview subject says the word talking head. You go right up here to the search section, type in talking, and immediately one of the clips are gone. And that's because this clip has no favorites whose title have the words talking head in it. So that immediately is gone. And we're left with the one clip that does have instances where the word talking is in the title of the favorites. You can see one right here. You can see one right here. This clip is short, so navigating through just a few favorites is very easy. But if you had hundreds of favorites in a very long interview, simply finding just the clip is not enough. You need to narrow down exactly what favorite has the word talking head in it. Right up here is how you can change your search criteria. And if you change it to favorites, you now are given all three instances in which the word talking from the search section is in the name of the favorites. If you take the time to properly favorite your clips with descriptive text, you now have the power to easily navigate through all of your footage to find the exact moment that you're looking for. So there you have it. Using Final Cut Pro 10 on talking head interviews is really, really great. And that's just one of so many fantastic features that Final Cut Pro 10 has available to you. It's very inexpensive. It's on the App Store. You can get a 30-day free trial. So I highly recommend giving it a chance. But don't ride blind. Definitely take the time to get a tutorial from either Ripple Training or Larry Jordan or Lynda.com. There's a million out there. But learn it the right way and you will reap the benefits of the time you put into it. So thanks a lot. Keep checking back for more tutorials and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.